Hope you well. Today we're going to have a look at this uh, awesome poster design we have here for uh, Marvel's new Modoc TV show. And actually, we're just going to have a look at the text effect they use here uh, because I really like this. So what I did, I tried to recreate it, and um, I started off with the background, very simple. I basically just used. Uh, let me just turn this off so you can see. It's just a texture, nothing fancy. We added a color. Um, actually, I also added a little bit of uh, darkening on the sides, which is just a gradient overlay. I'll show you. It's um, You can see you can just basically move it around if you want to. Uh, I used a radial style, multiply blend mode 75%, and uh, yeah, 40, 45 degree angle worked for me. Uh, I also added a little bit of more color variation, uh, blue in the middle and a little bit of pink flare on the top. So that looks pretty nice. Um, I cut out the reference I have here so I can create these gradient uh, shapes and also create these bevel edges and these decorative elements here. So the way I did it is basically it's um, it's it builds up from three parts. One of them is the normal text fill, so it's just a, a shape of the text. And the next one is the decorative elements we have here. These are just simple strokes. I used, uh, let me see, uh, let's see on the K letter here. So it's just a five point stroke. And then I also have the text stroke um, for each letter. Let's see the text effects what we have. And the first one is going to be the text field. If we go into the text effect, the layer style, it's a it's a simple gradient. It starts off with a simple gradient from a light uh, yellow color uh, going to a, an orangey color here. And the layer effects are a little bit of inner glow. This inner glow basically works as a, a kind of like a contour shadow for the, for the bevel the stroke bevel I'm going to apply later so it's just to support it. Um, I add this satin so it'll just break the uniformity of this uh, gradient. If we go in here you can see you can move this around the way you like it. I use the contour of uh, this shape here and these are the settings I'm using very low opacity linear burr blend board um, and uh, 50 pixel size. I apply this pattern here. It's just a normal stone pattern. I think it just comes with, um, I can't remember which one was it, but I would just use one of these uh, uh, legacy patterns. I'm also going to uh, upload the PSD file for you guys so you can just have a look at it for yourself. I can't remember which one it is. But I used an overlay blend mode Capacity 30%. And then lastly, I applied a drop shadow here. You can see it's just a nice subtle drop shadow. So that was the text field. And I created this line stroke decorative elements. And once that was done, I just applied a bevel and emboss a layer style effect. Let's have a look. The layer style effect here, bevel and emboss, inner bevel, smooth, 300% depth, uh, size 3%, angle 90 degree, altitude 30 degree, and I use this gloss contour here with um, highlight mode, linear dodge 50%, and then shadow mode multiply 30%, simple black and white. So that worked for me. And uh, I also applied a contour 
a range of 50% with um, this very last uh, 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 contour. And the text stroke, uh, let me just see, it's just basically a bevel and emboss again. It's a uh, very simple inner bevel smooth depth 100% size 5 pixel the angle and attitude I try to keep the same uh, I normally just change the, the gloss contour here to give a little bit of variety so in here for example I use the second one here that seemed the best I tried all of them this felt the best for me uh, again white and black highlight mode screen 100% shadow mode multiply 30% and the contour, uh, I changed it. Instead of using this, I used this other one here. And the uh, range is 18%. After when I was done with this, I felt like we would need a little bit more texture here. So I used a, a gold glitter texture. I'm also going to um, give you guys this. You'll find it in the description. So you can see it just gives a little bit of a nice uh, feeling to it and the very last effect I had to apply if you have a look at the reference we had this kind of uh, uh, dot uh, kind of stuff here going on it's very simple I created one and then I just basically copied over to the each letter and it's four shapes one outer circle in a and then another two with a different color. So if we have a look, it's just basically a bevel and emboss again. Um, try to keep the same uh, 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 um, properties. I just changed the gloss contour. So in, in this one, for example, I use this, the second one on the bottom. And, and then in the next one, I changed it again. Um, I tried all of them and this felt the best for me. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, like a test and trial kind of stuff going on here. I also applied the drop shadow. So the drop shadow will just give this very nice separation between the elements. And the same was uh, going on the, the purple shapes. Bevel and emboss again. I think I used the same gloss contour, but uh, instead of using white and black, I used a little bit of uh, uh, pinkish, purplish color. And lastly, the very last shape. Uh, again, it's the same same kind of effect. Uh, I think I changed the size here. And, and that is it. Um, so you see, it's, uh, it was a lot of test and trial, but I think it worked it. It looks really nice and I uh, hope you like it. Um, see you guys next time. Thank you. Thank you for watching.